Hello friends! Tonight I want to present to you two of my VCRs and in particular I want to make a comparison between the tape transport of these two VCRs. This one is my Celeco model number SV835 and it uses a JVC tape transport the other one is a Blaupunkt model number RTV535 and it uses a G-Deck made by Panasonic let's start from the Celeco this is the mechanical deck it is a two head model we have a head here and another one here and this particular tape transport uses five different motors we have a motor up here that drives a big cam gear this one on the side that drives the cassette carriage and there we have a rubber belt here drives a worm gear and then turns this uh, big cam gear and it is used for loading the cassette see only one motor only for loading a cassette On this VCR, at first, when I first got it, uh, I used to add a problem because this belt was slipping, was so worn out that it was slipping and sometimes the VCR failed to load the cassette. Now I replaced the belt and as you can see, works perfectly. Let's press play. We can see the tape guides loaded the tape around the drum, which is spinning here. Here we have an impedance roller. There's the erase head here. There we have the audio control head, the pinch roller and down here there's the capstan it's under the pressure roller and as we can see the tape is moving so now let's take a look at the bottom side of this VCR let's stop the cassette first press stop we can see it unloads the tape from the drum and the drum stops spinning so now let's flip the VCR on the side uh, here's the main circuit board of course we have to be careful let's flip the VCR on the side it's really heavy really heavy VCR really well made and really heavy and this is the bottom side of the tape transport as we can see there we have there's my screwdriver there we have this is the capstan motor and there we have another motor which is the uh, used for the rails of the cassette um, usually on modern VCR we have a belt that goes from the capstan motor to a pulley right here instead of a separated motor like this then there we have another motor which is here which is the main loading motor uh, here we can see a bit close let's turn the light on okay this is the main loading motor we see there's a small rubber belt here and under this shield here we have a large cam gear which drives this loading gears that loads the roller guides and other components 
of the tape transport. So let's press play. There we can see. See? The loading gears. Let's stop so we can see better. See? There we have a large cam gear. Let's press play again. Really nice. And of course the drum motor, which is on the bottom side of the mechanism. Uh, on modern VCRs uh, the drum motor is on the upper side of the drum. Here's on the bottom side. So there we have one motor, two, three, four, and on the upper side, let's put it back. Oh, it's really, really heavy, this VCR. We have five motors. So now let's stop. This VCR is from 1989 and it works with all its original parts. I've only replaced these three capacitors here, one, two and three, from the on the power supply. And now it works great. Um, here on the main circuit board we have this nice big heat sink here, which is right next to the power transformer, which is quite strange because we have two components that produces a large amount of heat so close together. So now let's no first let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, by the way this VCR is a little bit noisy because there we have a problem. Uh, this is a rubber tire that swings between the two spindles of the cassette and it's extremely worn out and unfortunately I haven't found a replacement and so it's still its original. I've changed this loading belt and the other small belt on the bottom side of the mechanism but I'm still searching for a replacement idler tire so it is a little bit noisy. Let's rewind. It's really noisy but it rewinds and fast forward with full power. We have no problems. Let's eject. Really nice. Really, really nice VCR. And the cassette carriage and the all the entire mechanism is made of stainless steel. That's it. That is why it is so heavy. Now, let's see the other one. It is a Blaupunkt model number RTV535. Um, it is a German brand VCR, but it uses a Panasonic tape transport. Also, this one is a quite basic model. It is a free head model. We have a head here and two heads here. Um, on free heads VCRs uh, for playback and recording, it uses two heads. The third one is only used for uh, slow motion and and still picture. And this is a simple two head model. This particular tape transport is made by Panasonic, as I said before. It's one of my favorite. It's a G deck. And it is a really particular tape transport because it uses only one motor, the main capstan motor, for doing everything on this deck. So let's load the cassette. When you load a cassette on this VCR, as we can see, it takes a loop of tape out of the cassette and 
it loads the tape only against the tracking head because this VCR has a, as we can see, a real-time counter that is used in fast-forward and rewind as we can see. So, the tracking head here reads the pulses on the tape that's really nice. So let's press play. Now we can see the tape guides. Loaded the tape around the drum. And on this VCR, the pinch roller is located on this shaft here that goes up and down. And the capstan is up here instead of back here. So we have one offloading arm and another one which is behind the capstan shaft. Down there we have this plastic gear, there's the mode switch. So let's do something on this VCR, let's fast forward, let's rewind a little bit. We can hear this clicking noise when I enter the rewi rewind mode, as we can hear, probably. There's because there's a solenoid on this deck. Now let's eject the cassette. Press eject. Unloads the tape really smoothly and ejects the cassette. Really, really nice. Uh, let's turn the light on. Here's a solenoid. This one. Here's the solenoid we, solenoid we can hear clicking when doing something on this VCR. So now let's take a look at the bottom side of this nice tape transport. And uh, for operating this VCR, I'm going to use a fake cassette because you should never use a VCR upside down with a real cassette in. You could probably damage the tape. So let's put a fake cassette in. Loads the cassette. And let's flip the VCR upside down. Okay. Here's the tape transport. As we can see, there's only the capstan motor and, of course, the drum motor here. We have no separated loading motors. We have only one motor. We have this nice big capstan here, which dr that drives with a plastic toothed belt. This big pulley here, and as we can see, we have a lot of cam gears. We have cam gear here, another one here, another one here. Be behind here we have one, two, three, four, five cam gears. Really, really a lot. So let's press play and let's see what happens. Let's take a look. Oops. Where is? Here. Look how nice the, this tape transport is. Really nice, one of my favorite. Let's stop. Let's play again. Let's see a little bit closer. Let's rewind. Play. Stop. Really nice. Really, really nice. Let's flip it back together. Okay. Oh, also, this one is really heavy. Um, as the Celico, uh, also on this one, the main uh, cassette carriage and the tape transport is made of stainless steel. So it's really heavy. There we have the main circuit board. Uh, under here we have the tuner. 
and up here under this shield here is the power supply let's eject this fake cassette it's always a good idea to have a fake cassette like this if you want to test the mechanisms of a VCR okay and there we have, of course, the erase head, the drum, the tracking head, the pinch roller, the mode switch. And on this particular deck, we have two mode switches. We have the main mode switch here and another one on the side of the cassette carriage here, which is a sliding, a sliding mode switch. Um, this Panasonic G deck, or as I said before, is one of my favorite tape transports. But it is a real nightmare if something goes wrong with this tape deck here. So, thank you for your attention in watching my video, and see you in another one. Goodbye, friends!